the newest SharePoint features here, and it'll save you a ton of time when building pages. In this video, I'm going to break down what it is, how to use it, when you can expect to see it, and more. Let's get into it. This new feature is a Copilot powered FAQ web part. Let's just go into edit mode and I'm going to explain what this thing is doing while we are building out this page. So I've got a page here uh, for a fictitious drone that just got launched by this company. Now, uh, I'm going to add in probably at the bottom, honestly, uh, is, is the probably the best area for an FAQ. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go into your web part gallery and you're going to be searching for FAQ. You'll see it here. It's currently in preview status uh, and it is currently rolling out to tenants. It should be done by the end of July. So if you don't see it yet, you should be seeing it very, very soon. We're going to click on that and it'll add this. Now, what this is going to ask us for at this point is it, it needs information because this web part will actually build out the FAQ for you. It'll give you categories, questions, answers. All you have to do is provide it with the information that you want to use to ground this. So let's, it'll, uh, you'll understand more once we kind of see it in action. So I'm going to click on add a source file. And I'm going to pick the uh, a Word document that has all the information about this new drone. The purpose, we can, we, if we hover over this, we'll see that this helps it to kind of understand a little bit more about what type of content you just provided with this and what this FAQ is kind of geared towards. In this case, it is a product announcement. So we, we could pick that. We also have event. I'm going to show you the event one as well. Uh, otherwise, you could use policy documents or just general for kind of anything else that doesn't fit one of these things. I'm going to pick product. And uh, then we, we need to give it kind of almost a prompt, you could say, but it's definitely information that the that Copilot's going to use when generating this. So let's type in provide key answers to commonly asked questions. Yeah, I think that's good for now. I think that's good for now. So we'll hit start. Now what's gonna happen is the is Copilot's analyzing the document. It's figuring out what types of categories might we want in this FAQ. So uh, you see it's definitely relevant to that document. We see AI features, flight modes, camera systems. We, it, 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 it gives us really good uh, categories to start with. Now, if I wanted to get rid of one of these, maybe durability, uh, we're going to get rid of because maybe this thing is kind of known to break a whole lot in company testing. So we're just going to hide the durability things. I'll just click on the little trash can icon there. And now durability is gone. So we can keep the rest of these. I could add a new one if I want to. And then it will actually uh, go search for questions and answers that match that new category as well. So we have a lot of options here. Uh, when we're done, we can click on draft questions because this is just the categories. So now it fills in the questions for each of these different categories. Again, we're given the option of maybe changing the order, maybe move this up to the top so we can change the order very easily. We can still go over here and we can edit the question. We can delete it. We can move it to another category. Uh, we've got a lot of options there to kind of tweak this before the final step, which as you can see by the name of the button now, it'll be adding the answers to these questions. So it goes step by step through the FAQ process, making sure that you are in control every step of the way. Uh, I'm going to, uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to keep all of this the same. And then I'm going to just click on draft answers. Now it's adding in all of the answers to all of the questions. And when it is done, we'll have a completed FAQ. Okay, so it's all done. Uh, similar to other Copilot experiences, it just drafted content. So it's giving you the option here. Do you want to keep this? Do you want to delete it? Do you want to back up a step and maybe go back to the uh, answer, answer step. Maybe uh, you want to get rid of some questions and you just want to you know, back up and, and do it that way. So we can click on draft answers again. We'll finish this part uh, up and we'll start taking a look at what this looks like 
in the in the read only view of this page. So I'm going to click on keep it. Now this web part, all the AI part is done. This is this is fully ready to use. We have some options here. Let's uh, yeah, we have options here for changing the icon. Uh, if you want the little down chevron or you want plus minus buttons, I think the chevrons definitely look better. It's probably why it defaults to that. If we were to update this news page and look at it in read only mode, we've got a lot of nice categories and questions. We can drill into any of these to see the answer. And I didn't have to really type anything more than a short little sentence while I was configuring this. I didn't have to figure out what questions should I include. Copilot p figures all that out for you and provides the most relevant things that it thinks users would be asking. Now, I know licensing is going to be a question on your mind if this has, this has anything to do with Copilot, and I'll get to that one. But first, let's take a look at what this looks like th with another context. I've got an event page, so let's switch over to that. So now I'm on the event page for this company. It's going to have a, uh, a an annual celebration down in uh, at Navy Pier in Chicago. That's that's what this event is about. I've got a document that I created with all the details, and then I actually you had SharePoint and Copilot create this entire page. Let me know if you want to see how that part works. But now I've got this page, and I want to add the FAQ because we've got some great information, some images already populated in here want to add that event-based FAQ to this. So again, we'll go down to the bottom of this. We'll type in FAQ, pick this new preview web part, and then similar process. We're going to browse through the files, and here is the Navy Peer event document that I had started with. We'll pick the purpose as an event, and then We've, we've, we have the opportunity to give some better context to what we're going to be using this FAQ to present. So, provide answers to questions regarding event logistics, travel, and awards. How about that? Let's focus on kind of those types of things. Now we'll hit start, and it's building out our categories. And so we've got things. Well, we got the travel and accommodation, logistics, awards. Uh, we let's see the venue. The schedule is already up here. We already had the schedule up there. So let's get rid of the schedule. We'll get rid of that one. Um, registration. That was that's important. We need that venue. Uh, awards, entertainment. Um, let's let's get rid of that one. Let's kind of keep this a little bit focused on just the really, really important things. Okay, I like this. Let's hit draft questions. Now here are all the questions. Um, all that looks good. Draft answers, and then we can finish this one up. So you see that this this is definitely saving me a tremendous amount of time. And now at any step we can change what we what the what content's going to be the output. We can obviously we could change the categories around. We could change the questions. We could change the answers. Uh, we we can provide our own questions, and and, and Copilot will uh, fill figure out what the answer is based on those documents that we provided. Let's go ahead and keep this and take a look at our final page. Now you can go back through here and you can change up the content. Let's say if we were to add this in, I added another document. Now definitely the XD500 drone doesn't belong in this FAQ, but if we but if we were to change the knowledge that the source files for this web part, we'll see the option to recreate the FAQ. So as content gets updated, you can feed it back into this web part, have it recreate the FAQ to keep your, your FAQ current and up to date with the latest documents. Now, this doesn't do this automatically. It is a manual thing. So really, the AI part comes into play just for the creation, the initial creation or recreation of these FAQ items. 
So bear that in mind. But once this is done, this is essentially just a static uh, FAQ web part. So let's talk about licensing real quick. The the person who adds and configures this web part or the person who goes back in to regenerate, they would need an M365 Copilot license. Everyone else, though, who are, who are just using this, if I'm just uh, an average user and I'm checking this FAQ out because I want to go to this event, then I would not need a Copilot license because I'm just kind of a read-only user here. Uh, but So whoever is really leveraging that AI feature, uh, just keep in mind that's the person who has to have the Copilot license. Now, this isn't public preview, so you may have to be a little bit extra patient with it while uh, Microsoft works out any last minute bugs or, or things, you know, but between now and when this goes to general availability. If this web part looks cool, smash that like button and subscribe to this channel. But there's another feature you want to check out before you go, and it is the new dashboard web part. It really is slick looking, so I definitely recommend checking that out. So to get started with that, just click or tap the screen and I'll see you over there.